It's your boy Melo again. Sap Entertainment, you know what it is. I want to talk to that struggling person right now who feel like they ain't ready. They, they got to do these things. They got to do that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't ready yet. I'm not right enough yet. I'm not this. I'm not that. Whoever told you those things is lying to you. Let me tell you. Christ came for the sick. He didn't come for the so-called self-righteous people. He want you how you are. If you can change yourself, you would have done it already. It ain't about getting right or forgetting what people think. So come as you are. Don't let nobody tell you any different. If you a hustler, drug dealer, prostitute, crackhead, whatever bad thing that may bring shame to you, that you feel like you're ashamed and you need to change, give God the glory. Let God change these things in your life. You don't need to try to do it yourself. Like I said before, if you already done it yourself, you don't need God. That's the whole purpose, for him to make something out of nothing. When you feel like you've done these things and, and you failed, just know you got a help on your side that's going to be there no matter what. People will let you down. Girlfriends, husbands, wives will let you down. Kids will let you down. You can never please man fully, but you have somebody, if you allow him to come in your life, you will have somebody who will never, never let you down. But before, let's get this out of the way. Don't think when you become a child of God, like all these people on TV be saying these prayer cloths and all these things. Don't think that your, your walk and everything going to be okay. Like, when I say okay, I'm meaning that you're not going to go through the whole thing. Let's, let's get that myth out of the way. Because when you first give your life to Christ, it's going to get hard at first because you're on the fence. And the devil want to draw you back in. But through dedication, through knowing that God is there for you, and it's everything that you go through, every trial, every tribulation, is only the better you. So I'm asking you today, make that choice. You can't go wrong. Secure your spot in heaven. There's many mansions in the kingdom waiting for us. All you got to do is make that choice. It ain't about your friends around you. It ain't about, because God said, if you're ashamed of him, then he'll be ashamed of you in front of his father. That's what Christ said. So don't worry about what people think. Don't worry about how they're going to look at you, how you're going to be perceived. If you really want to change, and you really want to secure your, secure your spot in heaven, just read Romans 9. I mean, Romans 10, 9 and 10. It says, if you confess with your heart and believe in your, I mean, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Christ died for you, my brother, my sister, you are saved. You ain't got to go to church to get hands laid on you. You ain't got to do none of these things. If you say those things and you believe it, you are saved. Watch God work the rest out. You ain't got to get cleaned up. You ain't got to stop this and stop that. God will do it for you. If you sit back and you confess that and you believe it with your heart, watch God work the rest out. I love all of y'all. Keep your head up. Stay strong. Sap entertainment, baby. We out.